possible Mars hot springs found and the present day water cycle mounds of Mars that could be from ancient hot springs are described in a new study hydrothermal springs on earth like those in Yellowstone National Park harbor what scientists figure are the closest relatives to the original organisms that lived on our planet finding these features on Mars theoretically or any other planet could have big implications for the question of extraterrestrial life Mars has many features that suggest the planet was once warmer and wetter and at the very least the ancient vents if that's what they really are would make great places to look for signs of past life the features found on Mars imaged on the edge edge of the Arabia Terra region by NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiters high-resolution imaging science experiment or H-I-R-I-S-E have proved to be a very close match to hydrothermal springs on Earth said the study co-author Carlton Allen of NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston the findings are detailed in the new issue of the journal Astrobiology the shapes of the mounds and the channels that flow away from them are similar to those seen in the hot spring areas of Yellowstone, he said. They are situated in a deep crater with steep slope and could have been fed by underground water sources on ancient Mars, which is thought to have been considerably wetter than its present day incarnation, he added. The areas around hot springs on Earth have particular mineral makeups, and finding similar signatures on Mars would likely clinch the finding. MRO's CRISM instrument could detect this signature except for one problem Mars' fine layer of dust. There's just enough dust to obscure the spectral features but if similar mounds could be found in less dust-covered areas in the future, spectra could be taken and the long-standing question of whether Mars once harbored hot springs and by extension possibly life could be answered. People have been looking for evidence of hot springs on Mars for an awfully long time. Spectral features that could have been produced the hot springs have been found on Mars, such as by the Spirit Rover in the Columbia Hills, but no obvious corresponding sources have been found so far. Alan hopes that the features he and another scientist have found will serve as a template for others to search images of Mars and the present day water cycle on Mars. Data or information from the now defunct NASA Phoenix Mars lander is shedding light on the current water cycle on Mars and how water moves between the surface and the atmosphere in the northern polar region. Phoenix's thermal and electrical conductivity probe a fork-like instrument that can be stuck in the air or the dirt measured how water moves in and out of the surface as well as humidity in the atmosphere and data from the instrument shows that the water in the atmosphere goes away every night and at the same time particularly later in the mission the amount of water stuck in soil would go up at night come back down during the day, said the TECP lead scientist Aaron Zint of NASA's Ames Research Center. These are water molecules that are interacting very strongly with the surface of the mineral grains. He said, 
changes in humidity and temperature, which can shift both with the Martian seasons and with the wobble of Mars tilt over the course of thousands of years, can alter how much water is stored in the dirt, or what scientists call regolith. If more water is added to the atmosphere, proportionately more of those water molecules end up stuck as films of water on the grains. The films of water stuck between the surface and the atmosphere could be an ideal habitat for potential Martian microbes. Although there is no solid evidence for life past or present on Mars so far, such clues is what the probe was sent to look for. There are microbes that live quite happily in that on Earth, Zent said. Clumpy soil, Phoenix in part a replacement for the failed Mars polar lander, landed in the area of Mars North Pole on May 25th, and that Arctic site provided a fresh perspective on the red planet. In the five plus months it spent alive at its landing site, the spacecraft dug up samples of Martian dirt and confirmed the presence of subsurface water ice. Yes, there is water on Mars, and water is life. It's a part of the Creator, the Spirit of God. And water is alive. While the bulk of the regolith that rovers and landers have encountered so far on Mars is loose, wind blown dust and sand, the dirt at Phoenix's landing site was incredibly blocky or cloddy soil, said lead scientist for Phoenix's robotic arm. This clumpiness implies that this material has been processed, and the processing agent appears to be water. Dwindling sunlight caused by the transition from summer to fall at Phoenix's Mars Lander location, which is roughly equivalent to northern Alaska on Earth, and light obscuring dust in the atmosphere finally pushed Phoenix below its power threshold on November 2nd of last year. Phoenix's observations also show that the region it landed in is a comparatively young environment on Mars. We're looking at current Mars, whereas other missions that have landed on Mars have been looking at ancient Mars, said the Phoenix principal investigator Peter Smith of the University of Arizona in Tucson. But mysteries remain. Phoenix's wet chemistry lab showed with their tiny amounts of salts and other minerals and the surface layer around Phoenix while they're building the case for the region's ancient past potential signs of life. If this was an Earth environment, you could or would say that there are nutrients and energy sources available for microbes to use. Phoenix's thermal and evolved gas analyzer also found that 5% of the landing site surface material is calcium carbonate, a mineral formed in the presence of water. However, scientists don't yet know whether the calcium carbonate formed at Phoenix's site or was possibly blown in from elsewhere. The lander also observed water vapor clouds, ground fogs, and snow, yes, snow, forming in the late Martian summer. It's a very active weather environment. Current Mars climate model models likely would not have predicted such a dynamic atmosphere. So we're at a time now where we're going to have to reset those models to get a more accurate idea where the region was ever a wet environment. More signs from Mars and all these are connected to everything else that's going on. And these are signs of the end times.
transition days and there are many signs.